All right, let's get down to business. Harry Pettigo here. Um, 2019 predictions. Guys, uh, these are going to be some, some hard pills to swallow, okay? So you might want to go fill up a nice cold glass of water if it's clean, depending on where you're living. Uh, maybe use the Brita filter on this one. You're going to need it. Um, let's get down to business. We're going to start off down here. We're going to go up here, maybe even here. Um, yeah. Things are not looking good in 2019, people. This is, um, we're going to see a lot of changes, especially in the youth, especially in the youth. One of the, one of the groups of people, one of the demographics we're going to see really suffer in 2019 are millennials and hipsters. Okay. Um, let me just paint this picture for you. 2019 millennials and hipsters have zero guidance, zero direction. No idea what they're doing. The economy's in the toilet, and things are not looking good. What do they do? Well, they turn to kombucha. Kombucha bars and kombucha sales are going to skyrocket in 2019. Kombucha is going to be the um, – everybody will be drinking kombucha, period. Everybody from ages 18 to probably 30 are going to be obsessed with kombucha more so than they are now. But here's the problem. If you've seen the movie Clockwork Orange or read the book, hipsters and millennials are going to be using kombucha in much the same way that the droogs in Clockwork Orange use that milk substance, a.k.a. they're going to be lacing it with substances, okay? Um, Maloko, whatever it was called. People, everybody below 30 will be blitzed out of their mind on kombucha, and they will be running our economy and our nation into the ground. That's just a fact. One of the consequences of this, aside from like the rampant violence in the streets, um, street gangs amongst millennials, and they're getting in beefs about what? About rap music? Who's better, Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? What's going to happen is um, because of the, the, the paradigm shift in focusing on kombucha on one hand versus coffee. Before it was coffee, now it's kombucha. Coffee sales go in the tank. They're in the red. Okay, what does this mean for us? Well, it means that South America's economy <laughs> crashes. South America is going to be a third world country in 2019 because of lack <laughs> in coffee sales, okay? It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be like Mad Max down there. And what's going to happen as a consequence of that, friends, is that... Um, they're going to start trafficking substances like, like they like that owe them money because it does because they don't have any money. Um, you're going to see like, all kinds of nasty, nasty substances crossing the border. And you guys thought that you know Trump's border wall wasn't going to happen. Projections show that it was going to happen like in 2057. If it does happen, guess what? It's going to happen next year. And I'll tell you why. This brings me to point number two. So point number one is kombucha ab abuse amongst millennials. Um, sending our nation's youth into um, gang tribal culture and viol pre prevalent violence. Point number two is we're going to have to build the wall to keep out these illicit, illicit substances from South America. So what we're going to do, how are we going to build the wall? How are we going to do it? Well, I know a lot of you didn't want to, but what we're going to do is we're going to make a trash wall, Okay. Garbage in the United States is at an all-time high. There's enough garbage generated a week to be piled to the moon and back 75 times. That should be frightening to you. But we're going to use that, or at least we think we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to make cubes out of the trash, and we're going to build a wall across the border. Okay? It's not going to stop there, though. There will be walls made of trash around every border of every state. We're going to go, it's going to be, it's going to start out as a positive, keeping these substances out of America, North America, but it's going to really quickly go into a negative downward spiral where people don't, it's going to be like, it's going to be like Berlin before the wall came down. There are going to be walls everywhere. You will not be able to leave Ohio, okay, because there's going to be a 20-foot trash wall. Elon Musk. We all think that Elon Musk is like the little hipster save. He's the hipster Jesus of technology and space exploration. Sure, but wait until he reaches Mars in 2019. 
That's going to be a problem because guess what? Once he gets to Mars, he's not coming back. Elon Musk is gone. He lives on Mars. He defects from the United States of America, starts a wealthy colony on Mars with only the top 1% of Americans and Russians, leaving the rest of the world in squalor. The entire world will become a third world nation. Actually, I'm not even sure if you call it a third world nation anymore because that's all there is. There's no second or first world. It's all third world. Elon Musk. Yeah, he's going to abandon us. It's going to be sad. Um, you thought that you thought that toxic max masculinity has been bad so far. It's going to get way, way worse. People, um, men in their 30s and even as low as 25, maybe, are going to start getting swole, okay? People are going to start abusing steroids via this kombucha drink um, like nobody's business. It's going to be terrifying. Yeah, um, it's going to, people are going to, oh, oh. I don't even want to get into that right now. Um, mandatory, merit mandatory adoption, that's stupid. Uh, maybe, maybe mandatory adoption. We don't really know yet. That's a prediction. Um, okay, um, gender pronouns. It's going to be solved, but not the way you think. You know how Latin has been a dead language? Not anymore. America adopts a revised version of Latin as its main language, okay? And it's all to do with solving the issue of gender pronoun controversy. What else? What else here? Um, apocalypse? The Purge becomes a reality. You guys thought that that was a movie? No, that was a blueprint. That was a, that was a little glimpse into the future. The Purge is a reality. Um, Cardi B is elected president of the United States. First woman president. <laughs> but it turns out bad. I'll tell you how. Um, while America is in the midst of this downward spiral with kombucha abuse, Elon Musk and all of our um, brilliant minds and wealthy people leaving to have a, um, a, an elitist colony on Mars, um, we're going to be down here with a bunch of trash walls. Um, and what's going to happen is Cardi B gets elected president, but guess what? Nicki Minaj gets elected president too. That's right. Two presidents. This is not, this is, it's not going to end well. It's going to be a situation much like um, Caesar Augustus versus um, um, whatever the guy's name was. America will be torn in two, okay? We're going to have a North Korea, South Korea situation on our hands. Um, and finally, um, I guess maybe the only positive in this is that our con everybody's going to be wealthy. We're going to be, after we get through some of the hardships, everybody's going to be incredibly, incredibly wealthy. I'll tell you how. Gluten economy. We're going to get rid of the silly gold standard nonsense, okay? We're going to stop that. The gold standard, gone. Where'd you go? Oh, I don't know. Gold standard's gone. Now, we're trying to find, you know, we've been removing gluten from all our foods. What are you going to do with that gluten? Gluten-based economy. We'll no longer have the dollar bill. We'll have the gluten voucher. So, um, yeah, we're basically 2019 in a nutshell. If you have some predictions for 2019, share it with me. I'd love to hear it personally. And um, God bless you and good luck next year.